Welcome to our tutorial on using the camera. First, let's right click on Lights, Camera and Scene, and we'll choose Add Camera. Under Camera Type, we can choose Aimed at Target or Floating. We can opt to show numerical controls, and we can lock the camera position except when editing. For our target point, we can make a selection, this cap for example. Let's right click, Clear Selections. The next control area covers the camera position and the camera rotation control area is below. Under Field of View, we can choose a Perspective or Respective View. Under this Standard Lens Preset drop-down menu, we can choose from a number of presets. Down here, we can choose the view angle, the height of the viewing rectangle, and the distance of the viewing rectangle. We can move the camera by dragging these arrows in our workspace. Down below we have the depth of field control area. These options let us determine the camera's focus. We can choose focus by selection or specify the distance to the object we want to focus on. Lastly here is the distance from the focus plane to the loss of focus. At this point, let's put the camera out of focus at the beginning. When we finish with our settings, we'll click OK. Now let's go to the Motion Study tab. Expand Lights, Cameras, and Scene. Here we have our camera, Camera 1. Now let's put the time bar at the 2 second mark. Double click on the camera and let's adjust some parameters. First of all, let's get everything back in focus. I'd also like to zoom the camera in a little bit. OK, when I'm satisfied with my new settings, I'll click OK. Next, I'll move the time bar another two seconds over. Let's double click the camera again and make some more adjustments. Let's uncheck the depth of field option so that everything is in focus. Let's move the camera a little bit also. Click OK. And let's move the time bar over another two seconds. We double click on the camera. And we're going to find another new position for our camera. Maybe something like this. Let's move the target point a little bit also. Let's zoom the camera in a little bit on the label. And click OK. Now let's move the time bar back to the beginning. Right click on the camera. Select Camera View. We see the camera view right here. Let's play our animation to check it out. OK. Now let's move the time bar back to the beginning. The view changes to Trimetric. Let's right click again and choose Camera View. Let's render our video to a video file. Save. Now let's choose the SolidWorks screen renderer option, 5 frames per second. Leave the default name. 
and we'll click Save. Let's also accept the default video compression settings. During the rendering, we can preview how the video will look. The rendering is now complete. Next, let's play our file. OK, looks fine. Let's close it. Now let's move the time bar left again. When you're rendering, you need to be sure you're in camera view. Let's again right click and select the camera view. We'll render a second time. Save animation. This time, let's save with the PhotoWorks buffer. Under image size, we'll select screen. Number of frames per second, let's leave it at 5. And let's click Save. We will overwrite the existing file, leave the default video compression settings in place. The PhotoWorks buffer rendering option takes significantly longer to render, so I'm going to pause my recording until it's complete. I'll continue the tutorial as soon as the rendering is complete here. OK, the rendering is complete. Let's preview our video. You'll remember that the beginning was out of focus. Let's drag the player time slider to better see the results. Now we zoom in on the cap to view it more closely. And now the cap's in full focus. Then we rotate it and focus on the label. And this completes our tutorial on using the camera.